Um, hi everyone, welcome to the second lesson in my C++ Basics course. Uh, in this lesson I'm just going to uh, teach you one thing. I'm going to expand on the uh, what we did in our first lesson. Okay, so uh, this is the code from the first lesson. I hope you uh, remember it or you saved it. And in this lesson I'm basically going to teach you how to uh, kind of annotate your work uh, to help you out. So for example, this is a really small program, but if you're writing a program that's about six or seven pages long, you know, very long program, which you will end up doing if you're going to program, uh, you n even though you wrote it, you're not going to know what everything means uh, just by looking at it. Therefore, you've got to leave reminders for yourself. So, a lot of high-level languages, most of them have a kind of like an annotation feature built in to help yourself. Uh, you know, to leave little notes for yourself because you know you could be writing a program and you come back to it two months later and you have no idea what's going on. So uh, I'm just going to use this program as an example because you know what this one's about. Okay, so um, in order to do an annotation, all we have to do is we have to put two uh, hash marks here. This is uh, the uh, question mark button, except you don't press shift. Okay, and then uh, this uh, by pressing these two. Uh, this button twice, what it will do is it will, um, th any code from then on will be, uh, will, will not be read by the computer, so you can leave notes for yourself, so for example, this is the name, okay, so this is the namespace library, okay, and you can leave that for yourself there, uh, uh, also, and then another one here saying, this will output hello world. Okay, so you know you, you do these, and just to prove that they, you know, they can't be seen, you can compile and run, and um, the computer won't notice them whatsoever. So let's have a look here. There we go. It's still exactly the same. Hello world. Enter. That's it. Um, uh, also, what you can do is uh, you can do something like this. So you can do uh, that. Uh, so you you, uh, you do a hash and then a star and then uh, we can do a star and a hash. Where is it? Star and hash. There we go. And basically, doing this will render all the code. Uh, within this area uh, as kind of uh, unread. So if I delete this, you see it, all this code becomes blue. The code that's blue is not being read by the machine. So uh, uh, in order to end this, so I can go enter like this and uh, just go star, which is uh, shift and eight and then hash. And there we go. And this. Uh, it, it's useful if you're writing quite a lot of code. So, for example, um, so if I go onto the second line, you know, that kind of stuff, and then I go um, star and hash. there we go. If you know, because a lot of times you can uh, end up using more than one line to leave notes for yourself. So that's just a little thing there. Okay, uh, that should do for my second lesson. Uh, enjoy, and uh, uh, I'll be back soon. Thank you.